So it'd be great to catch up. I mean, since the last time we um, had you in Singapore and we had your uh, really inspirational exhibition, I think people still talk about that and they are definitely interested to see, you know, what you've been up to. Works always follow the, the, the themes or your interests, your research interests of environment, um, sort of new ways of looking at gardens and architecture. Maybe it's nice to connect what I'm doing to what I was doing then. So in that, in that show, um, uh, the space that you had moved into, as you know, was a uh, former um, washroom. It was the bathhouse, right? Of, of, uh, it was the kind of laundry room of the barracks. And, and I, I, had, I became quite inspired by that idea of it being this sort of laundry room or this room where things were, were, were hanging up to dry, like this, this, this sort of washroom kind of feeling. I, I, I became quite inspired by that. Yeah, that's definitely um, what soldiers would have been doing in that, that uh, barracks because the, the different barracks and Gilman barracks all have different functions. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. Oh, and so that was why, that, that, that for me was the starting point to be inspired to, to create that show. So um, in that show, I, I, I made um, washing lines. Uh, that, that was the starting point. The starting point was to fill the space full of washing lines and have uh, things hanging on these washing lines. And, you know, as we developed the show, of course, it got more and more um, abstracted and the, the washing lines became sculptures and the, 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 the patterns and all the kind of different layers added up. But this kind of starting from a, um, let's say, starting from an idea of, 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 of using um, uh, the context of the, of the space that I'm working in uh, narratively is something I very much have continued to do since then. And of course, there's, that was a, a long time ago now, and there's been countless projects uh, since then. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> it may be interesting to talk about that in relation to one of the projects I'm working on now, which is in the Grazer Kunstverein, which is in Graz, in Austria. And the Grazer Kunstverein is a, is a small uh, Kunstverein, but um, it likes to produce uh, work. So it's not so much of a, uh, an exhibition space uh, that just shows existing work. They, they like to, to produce work. They find that in, an important part of their role. What we came up with was a plan to open 17 Kunstvereins, um, one in each of the districts of Graz um, uh, throughout the, the year of 2020. Now, of course, because of Corona, it will run into 2021. Um, and so every month we open one or two um, Kunstvereins and it's a, it's a rolling program. Um, and some of the Kunstvereins are very temporary, just an event, an evening. Um, uh, others are, are longer or like a workshop over a few days. And some of them are, are collaborations that run uh, over the entire year. Um, so each of the Kunstvereins is, is both a, a question as to, to uh, what would it mean to have a Kunstverein in a football stadium. Uh, but it's also a statement as well, of course. It's also a statement about, well, we think this would be interesting for, for this reason somehow. Um, uh, my, my role in this, of course, is, to, is, is as, as, as kind of lead artist in the project. So to the initial ideas. Um, and then inviting the, 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 the artist, Kate mainly talk, does that, but we, we talk, of course, about how, how we do that. Um, and I'll be running four of the Kunstvereins myself, so I'll be organizing those projects. Um, but, um, and then in addition to that, I'm making a, a piece of furniture uh, for each of the Kunstvereins. We wanted it to be a, like an exhibition space of the project. As I said, we wanted to be somewhere where people could work. It had all of these different functions. Um, and so what I did was I, I tried to think of another space that also somehow served different functions or, or, or as a metaphor for me to start to think through. Like in the way I did with, with your gallery, I started to think through the space in terms of a washroom. Here I started to think through the space in terms of a... Um, a um, uh, a, a dressing room, a theater dressing room. So what we're scrolling through now are images of some of the different locations, like the underground car park on the one hand, the library on the other. So I visited all of the different locations that we're going to do. Uh, this is a, an abandoned uh, uh, lift shaft where we're going to have an event. Um, and, I, and I picked up on architectural features in these different places that I 
I found interesting. So these are, this is really a working document. So this says a lot about how I work. I go and I visit places and I take inspiration from different things. One of the events is going to be on the market and um, I love the market um, feet that they had there. So these are really um, source images for me. Now this is, this is thinking about the Grazer Kunstverein as a, um, as a theater dressing room. So as I said before, this idea of, of thinking it as something else is a tool for me in my, in my process to, to be able to embed different ideas in it. So here, these are some documents I found related to theater, images of historic theater dressing rooms. And I started to think, well, what kind of objects do you have in a dressing room? Um, there are, there's, there's a set of, there's a kind of certain set of objects. You have um, dressing screens, um, you have um, um, uh, uh, posters, um, uh, you have uh, tables, uh, you have clothes racks. So I, I, I created, a, um, let's say, a, a, a library of, of, of objects that I felt the space would, would need. And then I, um, and then I, I went to each, uh, each of the locations. Um, and I, and I, I, I decided whether that, that location would be a vase or whether it would be a, um, a clothes rack. Uh, what, what would the location for me rep represent? It was, it was quite intuitive. There's no real logic related to that. So this is, this is the idea of the abandoned building as a makeup table. This is my first sketch of what that would look like. Um, this is the botanical gardens uh, as a mirror. Um, one of the events is happening on a bus. Um, and that's, that's the sketch of the bus as a lamp. Um, this is the kindergarten. We're having one of the events in the kindergarten. It's a kindergarten as a dressing screen. Um, this is a football stadium as a dressing screen. Uh, this is a forest as a clothes rack. This is like a first sketch of how they would, how they would be arranged uh, in, the, in the space. And here's um, a rendering where I, I, I took a 3D model of the space and I, um, and I put those sketches into it just to kind of think about scale and to think about um, how, it would, how it would feel like to be, to be in the space, how they would relate to each other. Yeah, this is this depot space. So this is the kind of the HQ, let's say, the, the depot space, the headquarters, the, the center of the, whole, of the whole project. So, and this is where so we're doing 17 events and I'm going to make 17 pieces of furniture or sculptures, if that's what I'm going to call them, um, that, are, that are going to inhabit this quite small space. So by the end of the project, it's going to be totally packed. Uh, so it builds up. The first four pieces are there. I'm working on the next four at the moment. And then it will kind of build up over time. What is this one made out uh, of? Well, this is a, this is a rendering at the moment. Um, uh, so this is a 3D model you're looking at now. I see. But um, I'm I'm actually building it. I'm building it at the moment. So this is the this is the forest uh, meeting the clothes rack. I'm casting. Uh, I'm taking like silicon molds of trees, and I'm uh, and I'm then um, casting that over an inner metal an inner metal uh, structure. At the moment, I'm using a, a sort of a, a resin, a kind of plastic resin, but I'm not happy with that. Um, and so I'm going to make some tests with a, a rubber. I kind of want it to be more soft, this one. I was using a lot of concrete in the other ones, but this one I want to be soft. So, so I'm, I'm still experimenting materially with that. Would you say this is a lamp? It is all of, wow, that's the thing. All of them are lamps, <laughs> kind of. They all kind of have lights on them, even if it's, a, I'd say this is a, for me, this is a clothes rack, um, but it also has a lamp. I think all of the things kind of need to have a lamp because I kind of wanted them to communicate with each other. I kind of wanted the lights to be to be scheduled, so they sort of go on and off. So there's a kind of this communication that's happening in the space. Uh, this is from the library. So this is a book, uh, a book shelf, you know, but yes. it's also a clothes rack. So you can also hang clothes on it. So that's the idea. It's like a book return, you know, a book return wagon. It's on wheels, you know, so you can move it around. Uh, but it's also uh, for, for hanging your coats, you know, you just coat hangers on it. Uh, on the on the metal bar um and yeah and the books you know the books that belinda uh mm -hmm. collected related to these these missing uh aspects of the library are, are now housed in this in this sculpture and they're quite um they're they're also thinking about small spaces and being multi-purpose <laughs> <laughs> yeah they kind of are that's true they all they all do a little bit of this and a little bit of that
here you see my process. So it starts from a collage, and then it becomes like a series of sketches. Then I make 3D models. Um, and then from there, I start to test the materials in real life. Um, and usually they, 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 they end up pretty much like the 3D models. You'll see that when we get to the real images. Um, but sometimes they differ. It depends a bit on, on how the kind of realization goes when I actually start working with the material. They're quite delightful and they're like almost have a kind of character to them. Quite, <laughs> yeah. They're quite cute, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice to hear. I, I also think they're quite, I also think they're quite cute. I think it's really interesting that uh, the museum would do a kind of feasibility study with an artist as the lead who then collaborates with other artists. Um, I feel this is quite, um, quite fresh in a way because a lot of spaces, um, you know, are ultimately have to be used by contemporary artists. That is ultimately the most important thing. And I think there's been in the news with Peter Zumthor's new um, LACMA, and it comes from the point of view of an architect rather than an artist, in a sense. Mm -hmm. and the concrete yeah. walls, and you know, so I, th I, I think I, I really like that. In a way, an artist can, a contemporary artist can sort of claim that space and make it, um, a th a th you know, think about it from that point of view. I believe it's a kind of the responsibility of, of artists to insert themselves in, 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 in this dialogue. Um, uh, and I think we have, we have the space and opportunity to do that. And it's one of the things I always try to, to, to do within the, the projects that I, I work on and to become the part of the, the, the framing uh, of, of, of what you're showing. And, and at, its, at its most essential, that, that might be the building. Uh, but but at, 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 at other levels, it can be the, the context which when, with, within your, which you're showing. So I think it's the responsibility of the artist not just to not just to respond to the to the call and to provide content, but also to to take a, a, like an affirmative action within um, how uh, the art is shown, where it's shown, how it's framed, because all of these things play so much of a, a role in determining. Uh, what the work is and how you engage with it. So, f for example, um, I got quite frustrated uh, with a lot of my work being um, uh, misread and misrepresented because of the framing, um, often being shown in, in context in which um, the, 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 the agency of the work was, was, was being diminished um, and it was being turned into something that could only be understood um, in either in, a, in an aesthetical term, which is nothing wrong with that. I, I, I engage with aesthetics in, a, in a, uh, absolutely, but where there are other aspects of it that are, that are missing. So in all of my projects now, I deliberately try to take a, a position where I'm engaged with um, the, the, the framing uh, of what I'm, uh, what I'm doing. It's helpful because I find myself in the sort of uncomfortable position of um, you know, I work with, I like to work with artists who have these really amazing concepts and uh, materials and they're quite intelligent. However, sometimes when we bring the artwork away from the studio and the gallery into a space where the artworks become just an afterthought or cosmetic. And mm -hmm. it's always this really uncomfortable situation as the kind of middle person to yeah put the artwork into an architecture that's just really, or a context, not just architecture, a context that's wrong for it. Well, it's the responsibility of everybody involved because it's a kind of, we're, we're, it's a shared endeavor in a way. Um, and I, I, I don't think that, that, it's not that art can't exist, it, art can exist in every context. Um, it's just how does it sit in that context, you know? Um, and, and in a gallery like you have, you can control that. You can control that context. Um, and the work itself often can, can control a context. But sometimes um, if it's been done with a, a, like an insensitivity or the wrong choices have been made or, or the, 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 the care with which something is engaged, that's where you, you, you fall flat and the work doesn't perform what it's meant to be doing or, or, or isn't reaching that, that potential. Um, and that's and that's a shame. Um, but I think that it's not. 
but I, there are ways of 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 of, of working that, that can avoid these. And this is a lamp that relates to the botanical garden. Um, and uh, over the course of the project, information will be added to this, so so um, and added around it. Um, but it's made from a a, a kind of a, a brisole, like a sun um, uh, a sun sheet. Uh, that, that, that was in the original, that is in the original botanical gardens, they gave it to us, um, which hangs over a piece of uh, like mirror polished stainless steel, um, onto which there is a kind of a sticker of a leaf pattern that I designed, and then you have these light bulbs. Um, this, is the, this is the piece of furniture that relates to the, um, uh, the, the football stadium. So this is a dressing screen. Um, related to the football stadium, and it's and it's made of water cut uh, aluminium, and then I, I I drilled these brass hinges in uh, down down the sides, so it has a kind of a very nice soft aluminium kind of materiality to it. Um, it's very it's very heavy, of course, it's like 150 kilograms or something like that, but it can it can move. <laughs> it looks uh, light. Yeah, it looks kind of yeah, it does. It's not yeah yeah beautiful. Um, um, this is this is the the, the lamp or the mirror that, that relates to the to the radio station, um, uh, and again it's a, a, a piece of polished a mirror polished stainless steel, um, and then there's a, a, a like a rusty um, grid rebar. It's used as reinforcing concrete, which is held outside, and then you have this grid of of of, of light bulbs. Edward, if you don't mind me saying, your works always want people to read it in such an aesthetic way. They are so desirable, you know, they are so designed and, and then you, you, you look closer and, and you look at the materials and they're actually, they have almost a, a brain behind the whole uh, mm. tea. Yeah, uh, I, I mean, I'm happy with how these, how these turned out. So this is the one related to the, to the library. So here, here you see the, the, the kind of open books. These are made from uh, concrete that I cast in, um, in really kind of quite rough wood. So you see the real, this kind of brutalist uh, texture of the concrete um, uh, and, there, and, and, and then the light bulbs and the steel and it's on wheels, of course, so you, can, you can move it around. Um, uh, yeah, so here you see a bit of the texture, it's, it's, it's kind of, so you have an architecture background and and um, a lot of these objects um, you designed, you kind of, you design them first. You don't really kind of trial and error as you sculpt them, if you will, right? The process of it is. That's right. And so I, I don't, um, uh, I, I, I design them first. I, I kind of plan them. So, so this is, um, this is the, the sculpture that is going to relate to um, one of the events that's happening in a in a in a city in a city square, um, and the guards could try and have an existing table that they don't like and they want to get rid of, and they asked if I could incorporate in it, and I said, yeah, sure, why not? Um, and um, and so uh, what you saw outside were these these uh, concrete pillars, which are a can a copy of some of the concrete pillars which are in the in the city there, and then this is. This is the size and the, the form of the table that they have at the moment, but it's just turned upside down. Yeah. And one of the legs has been cut off and removed to make a kind of a bookshelf on this side. Um, and the wood I intend to char, I intend to burn it. So it has this burnt uh, wood texture. And then on one side of the table, I'm going to uh, drill in some plant pots um, so that the plants can, can, can grow in there. And then on the other side, I'll leave like a table. Um, when I'm, I don't sculpt in the, in the traditional sense of, 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 of with the materials, and then this goes here, this goes here. I don't, I don't leave anything to chance. Actually, I, I test everything. Uh, I plan it, I organize it, I research it. And so it starts, it, it, what I do starts often quite, quite, uh, um, uh, um, through 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 sketching, like 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 for example the the the, the drawing on top of the images, like that you saw at the beginning of the uh, of the PDF that I, I showed you there, um, and then that that translates really into 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 collages and drawings and yeah. plans. 
while I try to give a kind of a, a form, I think through I think through the material both as a as a kind of a, a symbolically, but also as a, a like an object, uh, what I can do with it, um, and then from there, you know, simple, yeah, simple sketches just start to start to sort of appear of what of what it could become like, like here. Here's the image of, of this is the 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 the, the column um, that's going to become the that I copied and that's that's where the the edge of the table is going to sit in and I just showed you um, yeah here you see it here you see it again um, I love chains and this is a really beautiful chain yeah um, and so this is the location of one of the Kunstvereins and then so I was trying to trying to kind of collage elements of that architecture. And do you feel your projects are delayed because of COVID or, um, and, and with this opening of this Kunstverein or, or this mm -hmm. project, has that been delayed? Yeah, so we had already opened four or five of the Kunstvereins before. Um, and then by now we should have been more than halfway through, but we, are, we haven't, but it's not so bad. The situation is not so bad in Austria. So they're starting up again. So the, the next ones are going to be opening up pretty soon, actually. So, so it will be delayed, uh, but by maybe four or five months, something like that. So the whole project will, 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 will luckily will still continue because many things have just, of course, just been canceled. Okay. Well, that's a lovely project. Thank you for sharing. Inspirational as always.